So 10 years later, Blue Isle, the developers of Slender the Arrival, decide to just pop back up in the picture. 10 years later. I was literally 12 years old when this game came out. 10 years later, they decide to pop back in the picture. Here we are in 2023 to just remaster the game. Just out of nowhere. Just everything. They're adding mod support. They're adding co-op. And I'm just like... I'm okay with it because I love this game. I've always loved this game. I've played through it so many times. I've always thought Slender Man was really funny. I was using Slender Man for Halloween one time because I'm literally a walking tree. So I was like, dude, I got to check this out. Um, this actually came out yesterday at the time of me making this video and they've already updated it, patched some things. So it runs even smoother and you're seeing the trailer for it here. It looks absolutely phenomenal. I've already watched this in a past video, but we're going to finally be checking it out today. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's do this, man. And then they also have released a new extended chapter, which we're also going to be checking out. Nightmare. I don't know if they're going to add more of these, but this is the one we have right now. I've seen nothing of this. I've never played it. First reaction. I was saying earlier in the video, this game doesn't really scare me anymore, but this, this might do it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I had to give my like little like lore recap as well. This looks so good. It looks like a, it's a brand new game. Oh, fuck. No, this is going to freak me out. Charlie, what are you doing? Well, she's going to be gone. <laughs> oh! No, it doesn't. This game, they don't scare me anymore. I was going to make a joke how I was going to like look. Where the hell am I? I was going to like look away, and then, but no, fucking Slender Man's behind me. Oh my god. Must get out. Now we're in a mental hospital. So I think this, where you play as Charlie's dad. I, I can't remember his name, but Charlie's the little boy that went missing. And I actually have to read stuff now. Uh, data burr, everything is just... At least I know my gender. That's that's good. Uh, everything else is just blocked off. Patient presents with distressing symptoms, including paranoia, recurring nightmares, hallucinations, and unexplained memory gaps. Symptoms progressively worsen. Family has a prior history of mental health conditions. Severity unknown. Same. <laughs> Alright. This is... What the fuck? This is crazy. It's a whole new game. Is that a body bag? That's a body bag. Oh, why are you slamming doors? It's not necessary. I'm already loving this, though. The door needs a key. Of course you do. Of course you need a key. Why would you not need a key? Here we go. Was that there before? I think I would have noticed that. All right, anyway. Aha! Vending machine! What are we cooking with, baby? Hot drinks? Man, give me that a lot. Actually, give me that cappuccino. The shit that I look at first. I, I have problems, I swear. Okay. Three children disappear from local towns. Serial killer suspected. Yeah, I guess you could say that. In a chilling turn of events, three children aged between 8 and 10 have mysteriously vanished from the peaceful community of Willowbrook. Unsettling evidence points to an abduction and authorities fear the presence of a serial killer in the area. Local law enforcement is actively investigating the case and urges residents to remain vigilant while they work to bring the missing children home safely. So are we... Hmm. What? I wonder where we're at. You know, even the... I'm going to throw an Outlast reference here. I have to, right? Even though I'm playing all these random ass horror games and now Slender the Arrival 10 years later remastered, I always, my ass always ends up in a mental hospital slash asylum. I, like, have you guys, like, my longtime viewers, have you guys noticed that? Because I'm fucking noticing it. I always end up here. And then I play these games, and then I'm like, dude, I'm probably just gonna end up in one 
in real life. Oh, nothing that good happens in the bathroom, bro. No, what? Nope, I'm not fucking with it. Nope, stall door closed. Somebody's in there. Can I see somebody? Somebody? I gotta check. Hello? Yeah, I'm just. No, I'm good. This is so crazy. If I saw footage of this and you told me this is Slender the Arrival, I just would not believe you. I'll put it in the bathroom. That's fair. I have to look. I gotta look everywhere. Reality. Him, him, him. He is him. Dr. James Anderson. Who the fuck are you? I also don't know how long this is. So. What do we got? Patient redacted, status unknown. Um, unidentified fibrous black substance has been found in the patient's blood. We will need to send several samples of it to an external lab for detailed analysis. Oh, man. All right. That's that. That's that slindy goop. <laughs> that's that tentacle goop. I can like almost read that. Oh, fuck. Why'd you do that? Slam the door open. So that's just blood in the bag. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to mess with it. Got no collectibles behind the desk. No. I hear somebody crying. Hello? No need for tears. Your health is our priority. Yeah, my mental health? The fuck? I hear somebody crying. I don't know where it's at. What is this? Operating room C? Hello? It's down here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Nope. I'm good. World Health Day, 7th of April. Our planet and our health. Anyway. I have to walk towards it. Well, actually, I don't have to do anything. But I'm going to. Um, it's behind me. No, no. Where the fuck am I now? Hold on. Hold the phone. I need to go back. I didn't search the other office. God. The game's getting me all distracted and shit. Operation room C. What, what What's cooking? See, I told you it'd be something. All employees were investigating reports of suspicious activity in the ba not the base. They're gonna put, but they're gonna send me to the basement. Rest assured, we consider the safety and well-being of our staff and our patients at utmost importance. Please refrain from entering the basement unless absolutely necessary. Regards, Emily Thompson, Hospital Administrator. Oh, they're sending me to the basement, bro. I already know. Look, yeah, look, you got that Slindy goop goop. I don't want to know where he gets that from either. But that's a Slindy goop goop. They're definitely going to send me to the basement. I'm definitely going there. I I always end up back here. <laughs> it's either a basement, an asylum, with some creepy something chasing me. Yeah, can I get a flat? I thought that was somebody. I keep seeing shit. Can I get a flashlight? On the low? Maybe. Can I like take one of these lamps with me? I don't like that locker. Hmm. Aha. Oh, I love collectibles. Okay, Brian, uh, please stop fretting about the nonsense the conspiracy theorists have been spewing around here lately. It's probably just the minimum wage riffraff pulling pranks for attention because their brains are smoother than an ice rink flooded with petroleum jelly. 
Besides, we're safe way up here. We actually went to college. Of course, her name's fucking Karen, dude. <laughs> of course it is. It had to be. God. Fucking Karen, bro. Can I get a flashlight? Please. I'm not even going. I'm going to go in the bathroom. I'm hearing something. Oh, thank you. Look, you ask and you receive. What was that? I don't think there's anything in here. Okay. I got a flashlight. Emily Thompson, hospital administrator. Emily, what we got cooking in here, baby? Oh, fuck! Okay. I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm not even worried about these like little kids running around here, bro. You got a whole other ghost problem. interact with that door weird it's the first door I haven't been able to interact with got some blood got some bags got some 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 orange juice what was that oh the exit oh wow it's kind of it's a little too close I feel like it's just not gonna be that easy <laughs> Something's telling me it's just not going to be that easy. Oh, no. They are going to make me go to the basement, aren't they? Them motherfuckers. Right. Let's try going up first, you know. And this door is going to be locked. All right. Let's go down to the basement. Probably. Wait, what was that? Your health is our priority. <laughs> Not the wet floor sign for the pipe dripping blood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. I like their humor. They, they obviously made this with a little humor with the Karen thing and the wet floor sign with the blood dripping. I can appreciate humor. Place is massive. Can't go in there. See, at this point, if I was this close, I'm just jumping this railing. I am. It's, I'm just doing it. Like I'm right here. I'm shit right here. Look, I'm jumping down, landing on those, running outside. I'm gone. Just not that difficult, I don't think. What is this? Acute impatient. What is beeping? There's something over there. Hold on. Oh my god. This is where some shit's about to go down. Uh-uh. I can tell. Locked. What do we got over here? Oh! <laughs> you little shit. Sitting back there holding the damn door closed. Where'd your ass go? Ooh! Don't. Mm. Mm -hmm. Him, 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 I get it. That's blocked too. Great. What the hell is that? Oh my. Teddy bear? Oh, this is a bad idea. Just 
Lindy boy. What the fuck? I'm freaked out. You did no, you did a good you did a game. I'm freaked out. Okay. Oh god. Mission accomplished. I'm freaked out. April 4th. I've begun my trials on a new experimental drug designed to treat severe cases of depression and anxiety. It's a groundbreaking treatment, but they have there's been rumors of unsettling side effects. Some patients have reported seeing a tall, <laughs> faceless figure in the shadows. They refer to it only as him or he. As a scientist, I must remain objective and focus on the potential benefits of this treatment. Nonetheless, I admit that I am intrigued by these strange. Now, listen, Mr. James, I think you need to not be doing that. I think you need to not be looking into it. It's a bad idea, my boy. See, all I'm saying, I think I... Holy fuck. Well, now we have to go back. I think I bring it up every time I play this game, but the Slender Man movie from 2018. Don't watch it. What the fuck? There's some hella fine dance moves, my boy. What are we doing? At this point, I'm waiting to get chased. Like, we've had our creepy scenes. We've had our little jump scares. When is something going to be on my ass? The fucking classroom? Why is there a fucking classroom? This is a hospital, not a school. I guess it is an asylum. They make that shit like little towns. Team, it is with heavy hearts that we inform you that our tragic loss of one of our esteemed colleagues, Dr. James Anderson. <laughs> no, it's like the guy that, like, was intrigued by these people saying they see a tall, faceless man. We mourn his passing and kindly request that rumors regarding the circumstances of his death not be discussed out of respect for Dr. Anderson's memory and his family during this difficult time. Emily Thompson, hospital mission. It's almost like I was like, dude, you probably shouldn't look into it. <laughs> he looked into it. All I'm saying is sometimes things are just better left in the unknown. Okay, you know. That's all I'm saying. Wait. Wait, we're out. Wait, what? Nah, this is too easy. No, 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 no. This is too easy. That's just too- I've been doing this long enough. That's just a little too easy. Unless what out, what's outside is probably worse than what's in here. I don't- Yeah, are you guys thinking that too? I'm like, that. that's just- It's a little too easy. I want to see if I can stand in this. I'm not going to stand in it too long. Okay, well, I mean, there's nothing in here. I'm... Oh! Yep, nope. What the fuck did I say, bro? What? What? What do you want? Guess I'll die. <laughs> oh no. Well, I. At this point, I'm locking. I'm fucking throwing everything in here against that door, and I will sit here and just starve, I guess. Oh. What'd I say, dude? 
What the fuck did I say? Just too easy. Just too easy. Yeah, we ain't getting out there. Hell no. Where, where, where do we go? Figured it out. I was about to say, it's definitely something to do with one of these elevators. Can't go in here. Okay. Ooh, we're crawling. Who keeps... Who keeps shutting this shit behind me? Stop. <laughs> Grr. Rawr. Gurren. Something's moving. It's to the right. Oh, wait. oh, fuck! I think I think someone's behind me. Hold on. There is. I can. Nope. I, I quit moving. I, there was still footsteps. Nope. 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 I'm gonna freak the fuck out if somebody pops up behind me right now. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Oh, we need to fucking step on the gas. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I'm getting all warpy. I'm tweaking. Slendy. Oh, look, the exit. Oh. Oh no, 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 we don't, we don't have to do this. No, 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 no. No, it's landing. I swear I like low key, he's a nice guy. Okay, nope, get me out of there. Absolutely not. I appreciate the wet floor sign, thank you. Man, this is like a bad episode of Ghost Adventures. What the fuck? This is the basement too, isn't it? This is a fucking morgue, of course. This door needs a key. Oh, found the key. Oh. Oh. I just didn't find the key. Playing these games. <laughs> Been laughing at me. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. It is now unlocked. Beautiful. It's always the, the flooded basements too, you know. Noting it. Open that damn door. What do you think you are shutting that shit? You noticing some similarities here, you know? Creepy, insane asylum. Flooded basement. I'm not fucking moving. Oh no. There was somebody walking through that shit. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? There's an invisible. It is like a bad episode of Ghost Adventures. Bro. Okay, so that just keeps taking me back to the beginning. So I gotta find a way out of here. <laughs> Run from splashing water. <laughs> <laughs> Splashing water bad. Oh shit. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. 
I'll figure something out. What's up? What's up? What's up? Close that shit. Quiet. Security override. What was that? Oh, stairs. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Get me out. Nope. No more invisible water monster ghost thing. do this to myself okay i deserve it that's fine what the fuck you doing oh f oh f fuck me don't actually i can't move Where am I running? Where am I running? Send it, please. I just did that because I thought I wasn't recording for a second. I was like, no way, I'm not recording. <laughs> I was about to be real upset. Oh no, I have no more flashlight. They always do this shit. They give you like one little like thing to keep your will to like live still intact and then they just rip it away. I'm on the fucking roof. What the hell? Please refrain it from smoking on the roof. Our main fresh air intake is located on the roof. And guests have a complaint of smoke in the atrium. In addition, our legal department recently settled out of court with a plaintiff claiming a cigarette butt from the roof hit her. <laughs> Let her wig on fire. <laughs> Should there be any more issues, we'll implement a three strike system. Ah. Oh, they don't pay us enough of this for this shit anyway. Okay. Um. I keep hearing this beeping. Like. Right there. I don't know what that is. But it's really annoying. <laughs> I've heard it like this whole time I'm playing. And I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like to indicate. Like tell me where I'm going. Or what we're doing here. But Wait. Isn't this the main... Oh, okay. Hey, looky there. That's mighty convenient. So we had to disengage the security in the basement. And we're fucked. I was gonna say we're free, but we're not. We're just, it's the other F word. I would just give up at this point. I would. Eat, eat me, take me, whatever. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Sunday? Sunday? Have you gotten to shorter? There's just there's a lot of you. Wow. Wow, there's just a couple. Wait, I'm back. Oh no, don't tell me I'm in a fucking in this. Gladly. I'm in a loop, bro. In this shit. In this. Purify. 
Look at wow, wait, hold on. I gotta look at that. Look at the reflection in the water. Mwah. The little shit. I, I noticed it. I got you. Save your son. Cleanse with fire. Am I just am I just gonna burn myself alive? Fire does clean things pretty well though. Uh, yeah, dude, it always ends with just people just dying in fire. That's horrible. <laughs> oh my god, it always just ends with people just burning themselves alive. I hope they make more of those. I think they're going to because it says chapters, not just extended chapter. So I'm hoping they release more of those. And that was just a lot of fun. It was, it's just, it feels like just a brand new fun game. And I've always enjoyed this game. So it's just super refreshing and I really enjoyed it. So let me know what you guys think of it. Of course, this update, if you already do have the game, it's free. If you want to go play it for yourself, see everything, be sure to do that. I might stream the full game because um, it actually reset my progress, as you can see here, which kind of sucks. So I kind of like, I just, I'm a completionist. I like having all this shit unlocked. So I might stream the game and, you know, do play the, through the whole thing again. Get all the collectibles, all that fun stuff. But yeah, man, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this new Slender the Arrival experience 10 years later. That's still crazy to think about. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like button. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.